Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Colton's Reviews, where I like to review Bibles, books, and other theology-related things. And today I got something quite a bit different. Um, this is not my Bible. This is a Bible that I purchased for my wife for Christmas this year. Uh, she got it a little bit early, <laughs> as adults tend to do. We tend to be able to give our Christmas gifts to one another whenever we want. So I couldn't stand it, wanted her to have it, so we gave it to her. But she was kind enough to let me showcase it here on my YouTube channel. Um, so just a quick look at it. Um, the box it came in is this. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's called the Dayspring Live Your Faith Bible. It retails for $99, but I think I paid around $60 for this. So this is a very different Bible. Um, you can see it's spiral bound and it's the world's first spiral bound Bible is at least what it claims. I'm not sure about that, but that's what it claims. It's the CSB translation, which is her favorite. The lay flat design pages are 75% thicker to reduce bleed through with three and three fourths inch margins for journaling and creativity. So this is a beast. It is a big Bible. As you can see, my hand's right here, and there's I could fit almost four more hands on this thing. So it is a larger Bible, for sure. Um, but it, it is made with the intention of drawing, journaling, and just not worrying about a pen bleeding through your Bible as you doodle or journal or write in your Bible. There's the inside, as you can see, it kind of has this pink. Um, I'll go ahead and take slide this slip cover thing off if I can. Uh-huh. There it comes. And it's got a pink liner on the inside, and in the beginning, God created. I guess hinting at um, the creativity that um, our Lord has and that his in a sense, we have made in his image also our, our creative. Um, so I don't know if that's what's happening there or not. Um, it's kind of this Bible belongs to still. I haven't filled that out for her yet, but I was going to write in there for her. It's not a typical presentation page. And as you get into it, you can see some of the information. It is printed in China the CSB and then we have the list of books of the Bible introduction to the Christian Standard Bible and then we start in the Old Testament and this is the format this is how your books are going to be laid out in here um, which is really unique and cool um, and then after that look at that huge space that you get for writing now it appears that this bible is verse by verse format the font is not huge it's not tiny but it's not huge um, they really are giving you a lot of space to kind of do your thing here so and it's spiral bound so the pages you just kind of want to be careful i suppose as you flip them so you're not tearing anything up and yeah, this is a really unique take. Um, it's not really for me, but I see why it is appealing. Uh, my wife is definitely all about this. And for those of you out there who love to journal and not only journal, but like put stickers and do art and things like that in your Bibles, I think this would be an excellent resource for you. Um, I do believe it is all black letter. Um, before we get that, I'll try and show you the poetic setting briefly so there's proverbs and the poetic setting doesn't change much it's just verse by verse format and you see your chapter numbers are bolder when it changes to a different chapter it's not a huge number but it's a bolder number indicating that it is a change in chapter 
let's get over to our New Testament text. There's the prophets. Man, this thing is huge. <laughs> All right, and there's the Gospel of John. It is black letter text for sure. So, yeah, that's what we get with this. Um, and the thing is, with this Bible, once you get to the end, um, it just ends. Right here in the last few pages, you get to Revelation, and then it's just blank pages. So you get some extra blank pages for, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, it just ends. And there's no other extra things, no maps. It ends with this cool, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with everyone. Amen. And then it's over. So this is definitely a unique Bible. Um, I just wanted to kind of showcase it on here at the channel for those of you who might be interested in something like this. Um, it's, it has a, a different appeal for sure. It's not, like I said, not necessarily for me, but I can see um, for the art journaler or the person who's really, he just wants a lot of space to be able to process God's word as they're going through it, why this would be an excellent choice. So this is the Illustrating Bible. Um, I'm not sure where else you can get this other than Amazon. I did find it on Amazon, so I'll link that down below. Um, so you can check it out if, you'd like, if you're interested in grabbing one. Uh, like I said, they run for about $60, I believe, on Amazon. So anyway, this has been a quick look at the Illustrating Bible and the Christian Standard Bible translation. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next video.